to see some more. Oh god, yes. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're taking a look at the cast of Sherlock. Where are they now? Jim Moriarty. Hi. How can you possibly know about the drinking? This is not what you think. This is for a case. What case could possibly justify this? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the main and supporting cast of the BBC's Sherlock and seeing what they've been up to since the show tentatively ended in 2017. Have you seen any of their other work? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Lars Mikkelsen I have an excellent memory. This famous Danish actor has enjoyed a wealth of great roles, including Viktor Petrov on House of Cards, Trolls Hartman on The Killing, and of course, Charles Augustus Magnusson in the Sherlock episode His Last Bow. You remember, he was straight up murdered by Sherlock in cold blood. Mikkelsen continues to enjoy great TV work, having appeared as Stregobor in Netflix's The Witcher, which is based off a very popular series of Polish fantasy novels. How very clever of you. In 2020, he starred in an Italian financial thriller called Devils which concerns the discovery of a worldwide financial conspiracy. It aired on Sky Atlantic throughout the spring of 2020, and a second series has already been commissioned. The Architects. I just want to point out, he's listening in on this now. I would love to meet. Number 9. Una Stubbs Boys! You've got another one! Benedict Cumberbatch and Una Stubbs go way back, as Stubbs used to work with Cumberbatch's mother, Wanda Ventum. She has reportedly known Cumberbatch since he was four. Stubbs's role as Mrs. Hudson served as a late career resurgence, as she is primarily known for playing Rita Rawlins in the popular sitcoms Till Death Do Us Part and In Sickness and in Health. If the council do move people in next door, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. Huh? Together, they ran from 1965 to 1992. Stubbs has remained quiet since 2017, with her last credited role being that of Peggy in the television movie Murder on the Blackpool Express. In May of 2020, Stubbs turned 83 years old. Number 8. Sean Brooke Talk about a latecomer. Brooke made her debut Sherlock appearance in season 4, playing Sherlock's younger sister, Eurus. I'm too clever. Brooke is an accomplished stage actress, having appeared on West End Productions since 2002. She has also starred in numerous Shakespeare productions, including Romeo and Juliet, King Lear, and Hamlet. This continued after Sherlock, as Brooke starred in the National Theatre's I'm Not Running in 2018. She has also continued work in television, having starred as Deirdre Young in Good Omens and Karen in the Apple TV Plus comedy Trying. Arthur, you are a softie Doesn't. sometimes. I resent that remark. Number 7. Amanda Abington I agree. What? I agree, I'm the best thing that could have happened to you. Watson and Mary were played by real-life couple Martin Freeman and Amanda Abington. Unfortunately, the two separated in 2016, shortly before the premiere of the fourth series. After 16 years together, Abington has appeared in dozens of TV shows throughout the years, but it was her role as Mary Watson that earned her critical acclaim, including a Critics' Choice Television Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. It's Isaac. Ah, oh, your husband. Son. Her most substantial post-Sherlock role is that of Detective Mason in the C8 and Netflix thriller Safe, which ran in 2018. And you a doctor. In 2020, Abington starred as Amanda in the BBC3 movie Make Me Famous, which was written by famed TV presenter Reggie Yates. Number 6. Louise Brealey Is this one of your stupid games? Known primarily for playing Molly Hooper, Louise Brealey has an extensive career in the entertainment industry. She has been acting on stage since 2001, starred in 95 episodes of Casualty back in the early 2000s, and wrote features and reviews for magazines like Total Film and Premiere. Brealey has enjoyed a ton of great roles since Sherlock ended in 2017. In 2018, she starred as Gillian Chamberlain in the Sky One fantasy romance A Discovery of Witches, the second series of which is scheduled to premiere in January 2021. This is sick. 
Please, can we just talk about this? In 2020, she starred in a BBC Radio 4 audio drama titled Exile, which follows an outcast family setting sail on the Mayflower. Number 5. Andrew Scott Jim Moriarty Hi. Arguably the greatest Moriarty in the biz, Andrew Scott took home a BAFTA for his incredible work in Sherlock, and it made him an international star. In fact, the late 2010s were a great time indeed for Mr. Scott. In 2017, he starred as Hamlet in a West End production and earned himself an Olivia Award nomination. In 2020, he was showered with nominations for his work in Fleabag, and he won the Critics' Choice Award for Best Supporting Actor. Why are you here? Sorry, but I mean, why, why are you here? Why are you looking for me? In 2019, he starred in the Smithereens episode of Black Mirror, earning himself an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actor. You're okay. Just do what I say. Stay there. 2020 also saw his third Olivia nomination for his work as Gary Essendeen in the comic play Present Laughter. Number 4. Mark Gattis This is not what you think. This is for a case. What case could possibly justify this? Where to even start with Gattis's filmography? Gattis co-created Sherlock with his longtime writing partner Stephen Moffat and personally penned seven of the series' 13 episodes. He also starred as Mycroft Holmes. It was just one of many, many roles, and since Sherlock ended, Gattis has starred in the likes of Christopher Robin, Good Omens, and Dracula. In 2020, he starred in a drama film called The Father, alongside Olivia Colman and Anthony Hopkins. He has also continued writing. In 2018 and 2019, he wrote and directed two short films for the annual program A Ghost Story for Christmas, and 2020 saw the release of the aforementioned Dracula, created and written by both Gattis and Moffat. We've been representing Count Dracula since September the 12th, 1896. Well, Hawkins and Wentworth have. Wasn't there myself. Number 3. Rupert Graves It's time to come back. You've been letting things slide, Graham. Greg. Inspector Lestrade has a career spanning back to 1978, when he appeared in an episode of Return of the Saint. Aside from his work in film and television, Graves is also an accomplished theatre actor, having performed on both Broadway and West End. In 2018, he reappeared on stage after a 12-year absence, starring in a West End production of Pint of Five, The Room, Victoria Station, Family Voices. The following year, he starred as Frederick in a BBC One production of The War of the Worlds. This one sets in the Edwardian period. We are committed to wade in against Russia after certain lines have been crossed. That same year, he appeared alongside Anya Taylor-Joy in Emma, and in 2020, Graves starred in the third series of Sky Atlantic's Riviera. Welcome! Welcome, my friends! Number 2. Martin Freeman How can you possibly know about the drinking? John Watson was just one great performance in Martin Freeman's long and respected career. His first big role was that of Tim Canterbury in The Office, and since then he has appeared in countless esteemed films and television programs, including Fargo, Black Panther, Edgar Wright's Cornetto Trilogy, and of course, The Hobbit. He, he said... Who said? In 2019, Freeman starred in a romantic comedy titled Ode to Joy and the TV miniseries A Confession, where he played a detective superintendent trying to catch a missing woman's killer. The story was based on the real murder of Sean O'Callaghan. In 2020, Freeman's show Breeders premiered on both FX and Sky One. My job, Mummy's job, is to keep you and Ava safe. It's always been our job. That's like our only job. Freeman created, produced, and stars in the comedy, which was renewed for a second series in May of 2020. Number 1. Benedict Cumberbatch Wanna see some more? Oh god, yes. While Sherlock certainly wasn't Cumberbatch's first role, it was the one that made him a star, and earned him four Emmy nominations for Outstanding Lead Actor. In 2019, he starred, along with many, many others, in Avengers Endgame, making his fourth appearance as Dr. Stephen Strange. Measure your next words very carefully, Doctor. 
because you might not like them. That same year, he appeared as Colonel McKenzie in the critically acclaimed World War One film, 1917. You're too late, Lance Corporal. 2020 saw the release of The Courier, in which Cumberbatch plays real-life businessman and Cold War spy, Greville Wynn. It was his second true story movie in two years following 2019's Brexit The Uncivil War. He played Dominic Cummings, the primary driver of Brexit and director of the Vote Leave campaign. Which countries don't you like that have already joined, that have joined already? Why not? Why not? Why not? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.